What if I told you that extreme heat waves, devastating storms, and record-breaking temperatures are no longer once-in-a-lifetime events, but our new normal? 2023 was the hottest year ever recorded, and 2024 followed right behind with extreme weather events happening almost every single day. But now, scientists warn that 2025 could be even worse. February 2025 has already set a record as the hottest February in India since 1901. Global temperatures in January 2025 were 1.75 degrees Celsius higher than pre-industrial levels, making it the hottest January on record. So what's causing this rapid temperature rise? Will 2025 officially become the hottest year ever? And how will this impact our daily lives? Let's break it down. Why 2025 could be the hottest year ever? The India Meteorological Department, IMD, has already warned of an early and intense summer this year. The World Meteorological Organization, WMO, also predicts that 2025 will rank among the top three warmest years in recorded history. One major reason behind this, the end of La Nina and the return of El Nino, which causes higher global temperatures and unpredictable weather patterns. This means longer heat waves, more droughts and heavier rainfall in some regions. In 2024, India saw extreme weather events on 255 out of 274 days, affecting millions of people. If that trend continues, 2025 could be even more intense. Real life impact, more than just rising temperatures. This isn't just about hotter summers. Extreme weather is becoming life-threatening. Take the Kerala landslides in July 2024, which killed over 350 people due to excessive rainfall, or Jai Salma, where a single day of rainfall shattered all previous records. Even Leh, one of India's coldest regions, experienced an unusual heat wave last summer. And it's not just India. The United States is battling massive wildfires in Texas and Oklahoma. The UK is preparing for more intense winter storms due to shifting ocean currents. And cities like Jakarta and Hangzhou are dealing with flood drought cycles that disrupt daily life and damage infrastructure. If 2024 was extreme, 2025 might be the tipping point. What can we do? With extreme weather becoming the new normal, Adaptation is no longer optional, it's necessary. Cities must improve climate-resilient infrastructure, better drainage systems, flood barriers, and urban cooling initiatives. Governments need stronger climate policies to reduce emissions and slow down global warming. On an individual level, switching to sustainable habits, reducing energy consumption, and preparing for heat waves and storms can make a difference. The climate crisis isn't a distant future problem. It's happening now, and 2025 will test how well we are prepared. If we keep going at this rate, what will 2030 look like? Will extreme heat waves, floods and storms become so frequent that we no longer find them shocking? Or will we take action before it's too late? Let me know in the comments. How do you think 2025 will play out? And if you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates on climate and science. Stay safe, stay informed and I'll see you in the next one.